Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration, another really short topical video for you. What air exchange in your tubs look like? We crack between the bottom and the top of the tub, allowing air in and then the out, creating two holes on the length side and one on the width. And it makes it really easy to grow any type of mushroom and keep it sterile and clean. And in my last video, I shared about flushing or floating the mushrooms in between the fruiting and the grow. And when you use the tubs, you can flush with purified water your cake, your mushroom cake, three to four times and fruit three to four times, maybe even five times. And so it's just easy, and even the mushrooms you can grow in bags on your countertop, we still prefer these tubs for keeping it clean and, again, being able to fruit multiple times. So you might want to catch the last video we put up about that, the flushing, and a little bit more on these tubs if you're interested. And so the husband created these holes, much like the still air box. He heated a metal element and then just burned the holes in. And then we used this medical tape. It's breathable tape. So it acts like a filter with the air. And so this cabinet space, we keep clean and there's airflow. And again, most of the time we have a little tent that we use and we only grow a few times a year and create a bounty of gourmet and medicinal mushrooms for ourselves and friends. And so there is the air exchange inside a cabinet. <laughs> it's so easy, you can grow anything from home and it's easy to keep it sterile and clean and to grow a bounty, a harvest. And this is what it looks like. We love hearing from you in the comments and we've been attempting to answer your questions in these short topical videos by showing you videos like this. And it's not really about the type of mushroom you're growing, but how you're doing it, the technique, the process. Much love, friends.